Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, week's instalment of FlossTube, my roundup of eight projects that I'm doing this year. Um, I'd like to uh, thank everyone who has wished me well. I think I'm on the mend. Um, the coughing has seems to have subsided. I do have a cough lolly though, just to be sure, because now would be the time that I cough my guts up. I do have a colossal headache today though, so um, who knows what's going on. Anyway, I do think I sound a little bit better. Um, I will mention, just there, and I won't show you because you'll get seasick, um, my cat is on the windowsill. I don't normally have him in here for the videos, uh, but he's lying in the sunshine watching the street, so it's a relatively short video. I'm hoping that he will behave himself and not stick his bum in the camera or anything ridiculous like that. Um, so I thought I would just keep going. Um, not a lot as usual in the last few weeks to share. Um, no haul, which means that I still haven't received part two um, from the authorship program that I no longer uh, are, am in. I gave it in the end until last Thursday and once the mail lady had been um, I promptly went to 123 Stitch and placed an order. So hopefully towards the end of this week I shall receive parts 2 and 3 along with I think I've ordered three other charts and um, a skein of piney woods I think for a harvest keeper because if I'm going to have to pull out some of the border I may lose some thread and I haven't got a lot left and I'm sure there's still quite a bit needed for that chart so um, <coughs> excuse me I'm talking um, I cough when I talk uh, anyway so hopefully that will arrive as I said later this week so I've got two projects to show you and a request for help I need a small one and I could look it up on um, Google anyway but I thought I'd ask. Anyway, so I have worked on Santa's Village from Country Cottage Needleworks and I have worked on the Quaker in this past week. So I was working on part two. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna cough a lot. Uh, which is point set a place and when I showed you this last I think I had the snowflakes left the snow under the house and poinsettias and the um, garland at the bottom to do. So this is part two of Santa's Village. I have completed part two, amazingly. You can see the snowflakes there. Um, I'm doing this on the lamb's wall, 32 or uh, 28 count I'm not sure um, with the called for threads which is a mix of DMC's and overdyes so that's part two that's part two and one together they look brilliant and that's the start of part three literally a red thing and a couple of white things um, so Part three is a pretty little chart called North Pole Post Office. So I might get at least get the candy stripe at the top done um, in the next three days so that I can get on and get the house and stuff done. You've got, oh, hello, here we go. Yes, I don't lie on the stuff I need. Really? If it wasn't going to make you seasick, I'd actually show you. He's now here, lying on everything. Aren't you? Can I have this? <laughs> Please? Ugh. Thank you. Alright, you stay there. Mind your own business. Alright. <clears throat> Where's my needle gone? There. Alright, so. Project 6. Shall I move that away from your bottom? Honestly, 
I'd show you if it wasn't going to make you seasick. I, I hate cameras moving quickly. They make me feel seasick, so I'm not going to do it to you. Um, project 6 is the Quaker in six parts. This is a free chart, so I'm quite happy to show you this. Uh, when you last saw it, I had completed all the alphabets at the top and this page. So I'm ready to work on this page. This started, it's day one of four was yesterday, so, and I haven't stitched day with a headache, I couldn't, couldn't get my head around it. So yesterday I finished one of the motifs at the bottom, which is only, oops, here we go, where is it? Only half a motif, the other half is on the page below. And I, it did cross my mind to do the whole thing, but I like, I want to be tidy, I want to get this bit done, and then I'll move down. So you can just see this, a bird's head, I reckon. Um, it's a duck or a swan, I'm not sure which. It's not a cat. So that's all of it together. Just a reminder, if you don't normally watch my videos, I stitch in hand, which is why they look very messy. I roll it all up so that I'm, um, I'm holding just a tube of fabric. You're going to knock everything off on purpose, aren't you? So I probably won't do any of this today. I'll work on this again tomorrow. Tomorrow and Wednesday. And then I'm on to Project 7, which is Lucy Calcutt. Um, my request for help, and I just have to have a little cough. <coughs> um... Lynette from Homesteading on the Home Front was sharing some projects she's got planned and one of the things she showed was this which she and a few other people are doing as a stitch along um, and this is one of the things I would like to stitch from the Home for the Holidays booklet so I'm toying with the idea of joining the stitch along toying at this point in time she said that it's starting Labor Day weekend someone can correct me Lynette if you watch this because I know you watch some videos um, a if that's the right holiday weekend and B what are the dates for that weekend now as I said this is something I could actually just Google um, so I just just curious when that is to decide can I make it work um, my thought if it's three or four months away which I'm kind of hoping it is but I don't know um, is that I could really work hard and get Harvest Keeper finished um, because I reckon even though I've got to undo some of the border I reckon I'm a good at, at close to the halfway point um, I've done, I didn't bring it in to show you, but the, the tree is a big part of the inside of the um, chart, and I've done a lot of that, so I'm kind of thinking, if I've got three or four months before this stitch along is due to start, I could really, I could take two days out of each of the two four day free slots I have, and really push and get Harvest Keeper finished, so that I could join in with the stitch along. Um, if there's only a month or so away, then I'm not going to be able to do it because I'm not going to muck around with the whole rotation just to fit something else in. But I'm not going to fit something else in, so I've got to finish something in order to fit something in. So this is Tis the Season. And that's a view of what it looks like. Um, I hope I've got all of this right. I could be completely wrong and sending you all down the wrong track. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty little chart as a lot of Blackbird designs are. So again, this is the Home from the Holidays booklet. Um, so, if you could just tell me when Labor Day weekend is, then I can make a decision on whether or not I could get this done. It's stitched in Belsoir with DMC conversions, which is what I would do. Although, two, four, six, eight. Depending on how much they cost, I'm keen to do something in silk. Um, so, yeah. 
we'll see what is it 32 count here by lakeside linens at least it's 32 count i can see it that's something anyway that is all just to prove there is a cat oh, look there's a tail there might even be a squawk no he managed um i shall head off um and as i say um, I have got two more days of the Quaker, then I've got Lucy and Farmhouse Christmas is due to start next Monday. And I'm f hoping, and it, because it's tracked, it will come by courier. Um, I should have the charts by the end of the week. They usually takes about a week or so. Um, and I ordered it last early Thursday morning. Um, so hopefully by Monday I will have um part two ready to go i've got the border ready to go um so we'll see so it's a good time to stop they're making noise outside i shall <laughs> i will take a photo of this cat and put it on instagram um i'm i'm on instagram as the same rara's realm um but i think what i will do is because <laughs> it's quite funny he's very relaxed aren't you Charlie Appleseed um, and uh, yeah I think I'll do that in a minute um, I'm trying not to cough and finish at the same time so I shall say goodbye um, I hope you get to stitch all the things you wish to stitch uh, and um, I will be back next week for another installment on my progress okay everyone thanks very much bye bye